Good morning, loves. Happy, well, hold up, what day is it? December 15th. How could I not know that? My best friend's birthday is tomorrow. So, happy Vlogmas Day, December 15th. It is nice and rainy here in North Carolina. So, your girl is planning to be inside all day today. Um, I don't feel like going out in that rain. And anyway, we need to do our 25 days of beauty. I need a butter knife because I'm not gonna struggle. Let's see if I can get y'all down to it. Ah, okay, yeah. Um, Where's day 15 though? Oh, it's a box, I'm so happy because everything else has been elongated. Okay, okay, okay. Pop this bad boy open. <gasps> Baby, I know I'm keep. Oh, they're extra strength. I don't know. Uh, I was gonna keep these for myself, but I don't think I need the extra strength ones. These are the Dr. Dennis Gross extra strength. Dog, I think I need to give this to my roommate. Huh. Yeah, I think this would be good for her skin. Oh, why can't it have been like the sensitive or the regular ones? Dog on it. Okay, loves. So I finally was able to get my hands on the croissant toast in um, Whole Foods last night. Anyways, I am going to make us some French toast with it. Got my mixture right here for it. This bread makes the best French toast. I'm trying to tell you. If you haven't done it yet, do it. You will not regret it at all. And I have some bacon that I started. It's some really, really thick cut bacon. I started it on the stove. Now I have it in the oven to finish it off because it's really, really thick. Um, I got it from their fresh meat section. I love getting bacon. I love getting meats, period, from the fresh section. Is it just me? Especially if you go to Fresh Market. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I absolutely love it. It always, I don't know why. It just tastes. 10 times better to me. But yeah, so let me get this French toast going. Loves, I just thought about how in yesterday's vlog, I didn't come back and tell y'all how good the 10 fish experience was, y'all. Oh my gosh. If I have a chance today, I will eat like the caviar and also the grilled mackerel with the mumu fuku chili crunch sauce on camera and i'm gonna see if my roommate will eat it or try it with me y'all so good it was so good it was so good i can't believe i actually liked it the grilled mackerel it was in olive oil and i was very surprised that i liked it that it, since it came like straight out of the jar from olive oil. Now, the, um, I think I shared it in yesterday's vlog that they didn't have many options at my Whole Foods. And many people that I've been seeing on this 10 fish train on TikTok, they have been finding like the mussels and they're buying that brand Freshy, I think is how you say it. It's like the word fresh and then it has an E at the end. So they've been buying the canned mussels and all this other stuff. They mainly had tuna, sardines, um, and they did have some interesting tuna options. The Freshy line did, but I just, I didn't want that. Um, they also had snails, clams, codfish, which I almost got the codfish, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna get this grilled mackerel because it just looks so good in the jar. So I got that and put that Mumufuku chili crunch oil on it. Y'all, the girl was like, if I get the opportunity, I'm gonna try to insert a photo of like my little um, ghetto ass charcuterie board that I made last night because I think the board is in my car or either is, I just couldn't find it. So I just used a regular cutting board and laid everything out. Like I had some cheese, um, I had like some Vermont cheddar cheese, um, the pita crackers that I ate everything with. I had a couple of pieces of pineapple and strawberries. Um, what else I have? Oh, I also bought the Mumufuku's um, soy, the spicy soy noodles, and I cooked those. Yo, it was so good. 
that is some really good ramen noodles y'all now you get like four or five in a pack for twelve dollars that's a lot when you're used to buying ramen noodles um uh, for a, a pack for under five dollars <laughs> but it was so freaking good i also had got um some obey shrimp cooked shrimp and also their grill cooked salmon um from whole foods baby it was so good it was just a good little board for the night i enjoyed it but if you have not gotten on the whole it ain't nothing but what we've been doing i don't know about other people but black people we've been eating 10 fish we eat salmon and we eat mackerel and we fry them babies up and make fish cakes you know what i mean salmon patties mackerel cakes if you're from North Carolina, you know what I mean when I say macro cakes, okay? So, we've been doing it. My daddy love a good can of sardines. <sighs> but, you know, it, it ain't popular until other people do it. But, I definitely tried it. And I liked it. I can't believe I liked the caviar. That was the gotcha gotcha. That, I just knew I wasn't going to like it because of the texture. Um, it's fishy, but not too fishy. I don't know. It was good. And I didn't put a lot on the cracker. I can't do like a big boom. But I definitely think I need to take it to our family Christmas Eve pajama night. We're having um, brunch night in pajamas, playing games and all of that good stuff. So I'm like, I need to buy some caviar to take because baby, that thing was good. Y'all, I'm just trying to tell y'all. And right now, Whole Foods have Whole Foods have has why can I talk caviar on sale for twenty five percent off. So this is the time to go ahead and indulge. But that thing was good. Okay, y'all, here you go. I'm so nervous because this is not me. Y'all, that was actually really good. It was like really effing good. Okay, loves. Let's try the caviar. As you can see, I only put a little bit on this big ass cracker. It's a chicken salad. This thing good. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to buy some caviar to take to our family Christmas night. Oh my gosh. I also forgot to come and show y'all what I got at Ulta yesterday. So let's get into that. So I didn't get too many items. I only got a couple of items. So I read up on my Fenty Heat. This is their heat gloss um, in hot cherry. I read up on that. I've already worn it, <laughs> but this is a really, really good. I really do like this one. So I went ahead and got that again. And then I know I'm gonna be mad when I find this, but I copped another MAC Cherry Lip Liner. I love this red lip liner. It's one of my faves. I've already worn it as well because I did a video um, for TikTok, but that is the liner. I absolutely love this lip liner. Sorry, love, something was going on with my camera, but yeah. I absolutely love this lip liner. So I went ahead and bought it again. But something telling me I'm going to be pissed when I look and I see that I have it. <laughs> like, ooh, I ain't doing, doing nothing but smearing it all over my hand trying to wipe it off. So, yeah, got that. And then someone was like, Tori, get this Juvia Place lip liner. So I caught this in cola. I took back... Mm, <laughs> hit myself in the tooth i took back the lip liner that i got from ariana grande i liked it but the first day i really liked it and then the more and more i tried it the more and more i was like i don't want this it's too it's like it's burgundy it's not brown and i'm a brown lip liner junkie but anyway so i picked up this one from juvia's place let me just show you all the color i think the color of this brown one is really really pretty can y'all see it do I need to do more? Let me do a little bit more. So pretty. A true beautiful brown liner. And like I said, this is called Cola. So it does have like a little bit of a reddish undertone in it. But still really, really cute. So we got that. I didn't get much. Like your girl did pretty good. Okay. Very proud of myself. I also caught this MAC lipstick. It's a matte one from the from the brand MAC. Um, and down down to an art. It's like a nude. Let me show y'all. Getting it open. I love can I just say Matt's lip containers are iconic. Like there's nothing like it. I love their lipstick containers. Boom. 
Look at that. Ain't that cute? And this is how it looks. Let me put it on my hand. I love it. It's kind of like a peachy, taupey kind of nude. It has some, huh, I'm going to say a peachy pink kind of nude. But I think that's going to be gorgeous with a brown lip liner and a little gloss. Even by itself, it'll be gorgeous. So, and I mean, I have so many matte lipsticks, like Whirl, all of that. And I feel like it's time to bring them back out, you know? Sorry, I'm trying to straighten out my brows. I don't have on any makeup today. The only thing that I have on is these lashes that I threw on. And that's it. <laughs> my face is bare. And then last but not least, I caught my favorite lashes. These are the 858s, the Ardell 3D Faux Minks. I went ahead and got these again. Even though I love the Sage Lashes by Kiss, they're like really pretty on me the first time that I wear them. Maybe even a second time. And then when I try them again, like they just don't sit well in my eyes. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, it's probably me. But these are like my faves. So I got these. And I think that these will look nice on my roommate's daughter. I'm doing a trial, um, what you call it? A trial makeup run on her for her upcoming wedding. So I think those would be nice on her because I don't take her as being someone that would like like outstandish type of lashes. I do have some here. I'll let her look at what I have and we'll go from there um, for this trial look and or we'll know if she decides to go with me for her um wedding what she you know wants to do or would like to do but yeah those are all the items that i got for oh so see i didn't go too crazy aren't you proud of me hey we proud over here um very very proud and y'all that cherry lip liner with the fancy gloss like you don't want like a true light like ruby woo red lip or liquid red lip that combination is gorgeous for this holiday season it's so freaking pretty um you will love it but yeah those are the things i got all right let me get back to work i love your girl is finishing out the work day i actually i forgot to tell y'all i had to start my work day super early this morning because i had a county contact me with some important questions which was fine but it was like seven something in the morning so i've been literally i've been in this thing but last night when i was at whole foods why did the name just leave me like that pray for me y'all i picked up the ollie pop because one of my loves on tiktok you know i call y'all loves y'all are my loves um told me to try Olipop because I had tried Poppy, but they were like, you are like Olipop even more. I am not a soda person. God delivered me from that many years ago. And I, hallelujah, because I was addicted to Pepsi, okay? Then I became addicted to Diet Pepsi. And then I was able to like release that. I would say probably like 2015. So now you see me, I am a coffee and tea person. I drink my water. I'm not a water person, but I'm gonna drink my water. Um, or I'm gonna have me an adult beverage, <laughs> okay? I, that That's where we're at. I really don't do a lot of juices. I will have a juice from time to time. And like I said, I'll buy those small cans of sodas from time to time to have like a swig. Or I might even buy um, like a, a 20 ounce soda, but it's never gonna get finished never but oh i do like kombucha i do um if i remember i will show y'all the kombucha that i buy and i like my roommates think i'm crazy but i do like it i think it's something like you gotta just find the one that works for you i'm not trying to say it's so good but it's good you get what i'm saying but anyways so this is the olipop i have the classic grape it says prebiotics um botanicals plant fiber pre yeah prebiotic botanicals plant fiber so Alipop combines the classic soda you know and love with prebiotics plant fiber and botanicals to support your microbiome and digestive health help so i'm excited about that this one can is only 15 carbs i think that's pretty doggone good for like a can and it contains nine percent juice um 
let's see, it has nine grams of dietary fiber. Out of the 15, that's damn good. And then it has a total of four sugars. That's really good. So, got my cup of ice. This is already cold because it was in the refrigerator, but. Oh, I love the sound of opening up a can. I don't know why. Okay, I'm excited to try this. I hope the grape flavor is good. I love a good grape soda from here and there. It's like a Welch's grape back in the day. You don't really see it out and about no more. It's real light though to be great right like that's a light color but anyways y'all that's good baby that's good i just want to pour a little bit more and then i'm gonna leave a swig for my roommate to taste baby that is good mm -hmm. oh i need to get some more flavors to try I have not seen Alipop in Target. They probably do have it, but I haven't seen it. I've only seen um, the poppy sodas in Target, but I know that um, Whole Foods, why do I keep forgetting the name? I would be wanting to say Walgreens. Whole Foods has some other um, flavors, but I was like, oh, I'm gonna grab the classic grape because I like grape. Y'all, this is good. I've been trying out some new things that's really good. Yay! All right, y'all, the work day is done. And girl, got a lot accomplished today with meetings that, like I told y'all, started at 7 a.m. Jesus. And that county wanted to talk my head off for a whole hour. But it's okay, because I'm ready for them to call me and ask me for them to do it wrong. You know what I mean? But now I need like a little evening snack, because all I had was the breakfast I cooked this morning, which can I just say... Like I told y'all before, if you have never tried the Whole Foods croissant bread, baby, baby treat like yourself. It. Get right, treat yourself. <laughs> it's seven ninety nine. I know, I know, right? Tripping. It's worth it. it. It's it's worth it. And tomorrow, I don't think my first meeting is until ten. But tomorrow morning, I'm thinking about doing the toasted bread with the mozzarella and putting some of that chili oil on it something telling me that would be so good but anyways we have old bay shrimp left from whole foods so that's gonna be my snack because my roommate is cooking so i don't need nothing too heavy and i don't know i'm gonna dip it in yum yum sauce so i'm gonna dip it in yum yum sauce and y'all know that bell comes on tonight you can talk bell comes on tonight and so i'm super excited about the live show of bell that's my favorite disney movie so and I'm so happy for her that like she's playing Belle. That's going to be beautiful. I cannot wait. I'm going to be in my room singing. I always said if I got married, tells as old as time, it's going to, it's a part. It's, it's there. It's, it's there. I don't care what nobody says. It is there. And if I can get Mother Teacup and the Candlestick Man to come and sing it, that'd be even better <laughs> i don't even know if those people that play those characters are still alive <laughs> anyways wine of course because it's at the five and if it's not at the five where you're at it's five o'clock somewhere and it's at the five over here so mm. i'm gonna head back upstairs enjoy my little evening snack and also Make sure I have everything right for the live show of Bell. I think I do. I think I have what I need downloaded. Cause that's just, it's gonna be so good. Oh my gosh. And it's a black bell. We love it. Yay. Y'all, it has started. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Be our guest, put the magic to the test. Y'all, I am absolutely loving Beauty and the Beast right now. But guess what your girl just got in the mail? Matrium. So recently, I did two ads for their brand. They saw um, a video that I did about their brand in Target, kind of just breaking down their different body, watches, body washes um, in my own terms of what I thought they do for the body. 
based off of what I knew. Um, and this brand is so funny because some people call it Natrium and Nurtrium. I've heard it said both ways. I say Natrium and when I submitted my videos um, for them to review, they um, they didn't send it back saying, you know, like re-edit how I said it. So I guess you can say it both ways. Um, but I really have been enjoying the Glow Getter um, body wash. That is very hydrating. It's an oil-based body wash that is really, really good when you want that, like, really deep hydration for your body. Like, I can use that body wash and don't feel like I need, like, lotion or oil after I shower. Seriously, because it feels that hydrating on the skin. I can't talk. But I'm excited to see what they sent me because... Um, we didn't talk about me getting any products from them. So, yay. I'm opening up the box. My address is in several locations on the box. So, I'm just trying to be careful and make sure that I'm not, you know, blasting my address in front of y'all. But as y'all can see, I'm opening up the box. And I actually used their body wash last night. I didn't use it tonight. I used, um... What did I use tonight? I used um, the Bean Frenchy Cashmere Vanilla one tonight. Skincare for everywhere. Oh, I love that. Okay. <laughs> I see five goodies. Let's get into it. <gasps> they do love me. They sent me another Glow Getter. Thank y'all. The Glow Getter Motai Oil Body Wash. I love this. Okay. And they also sent me the brightener vitamin c body wash yay oh my gosh i have one that i bought because they had a sale going on and i was in target and i posted about this sale before like the actual the last sale that they had that i did the ad for so um i can't remember which body wash i bought though i know i bought i bought two because i gave my roommate one of them i gave her vitamins not vitamin c i bought gave her the multivitamin one <gasps> hold up they did not send your girl they sent your girl their lip balm i have it in clear <laughs> y'all ain't gonna have that petal and this one's telling me it's gonna be gorgeous jam oh my gosh <laughs> I don't want to open all of them. What if I want to give one away because of the um, giveaway that I'm doing? I may not because I just, I really want to open them. But I feel like they, they have some tint to them because this one says clear, this one says petal, and this one says jam. Oh my gosh. This is, I'm excited about this because the target near me doesn't have the pack. How it shipped. They got a little raggedy up in there. But um, the Target near me does not have their lip balms. So, shout out to them for sending me three. Yay! Okay, Beauty and the Beast is back on. So I gotta go. That was amazing. Beauty and the Beast, the live performance on ABC. It was just simply beautiful. And I'm emotional because when I see beautiful black women in those type of leading position positions, I can't even talk, Jesus. It's just simply inspiring and I hope that little black girls were able to see that tonight and I'm so excited for them to see the little mermaid black women We're simply amazing. I love y'all.
Claus, right down Santa Claus, man. Motorsports.